All right, this is our final tutorial for level number two. Uh, we're going to make our finish line for this and uh, code our player to be able to win the game by uh, touching the yellow ball and coming back here to the beginning. So we should be up to this point right now. <coughs> and uh, we're ready to move forward with making our finish line. So we will grab the finish line that we had from, um, from number one, which is this one right here. Right, we'll duplicate that. That one is going to want to show up when we start level two, and it'll hide when we end level two. So we'll hit that, and it's right here. So let's change the size of this thing to make it a little bit more uh, appropriate for this level. And that will be right about there. So here's our finish line. We're actually going to call this L2 finish line, right? Or level 2 finish line. All right. So we're resizing this. is all set to go. And we change our broadcasts, of course, to be showing up for level 2 and uh, level 1 as well. All right. So if this is the finish line that we want to code our player to you know, when it's touching the finish line, we want to end the game. That's a little difficult to do with this level because we're starting on the finish line, right? If it was coded to just say, when you're touching the finish line, end level two, um, you know, the, the level would be over basically before it even starts. So what we want to do is we want to make it so um, we have to pick this thing up first and then go back to here. And the way that we do that is with a variable and I call it the level two switch, right? Just like a light switch. So we have our level two switch. We'll leave this up there for now, but eventually this will go away. All right, and we will say uh, in the beginning of level two, um, when I start level two, we want to set our switch to zero. And if uh, we're ever touching this here, that's going to make it set our switch to one. So we have to turn our switch on and then come back to over here. All right, so in here we can say, if we're ever touching the player, we are going to set our switch to one. That fails, but our switch, all right, we'll set our level two switch to one, and then we'll come back to here. All right, so now we can say we gotta win the game by if we're touching this and the switch equals one. So we will say forever if we have to use our operators for this, so we're going to need an AND statement to say that if we're ever touching the player, and our level 2 switch equals 1, then we can broadcast end level 2. Alright, so now for our operator here, we have to get equals. Right, so that variable level two switch has to equal one. All right, so let's see how it goes now. So in the beginning of the level, our level two switch should equal zero, right? And my game isn't ended right now because I am touching the player, but level two switch is zero. Now it switches to one. And now when we have both of these things, the level ends which is perfect. All right. Now there's one little hiccup to this right here, and that is uh, this. If we are here, and we go and we turn this off, if I touch the snake right now, I have a fail, and it sends me back to the origin right here, which, eventually, which makes me win the level or win the game. Now I don't want that. So what I would like to have on here is where in our player, where if we're touching, if we're ever touching the obstacle, first I'm going to set that switch back to zero. And that way I can't have a, a, a really a, 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 a cheating kind of win like that. It's just going to bring me right back here and I got to go pick that thing back up again. And now what do we notice? Well, we also notice that our, um, our ball goes away. So we'll have to make that pop back up. All right, and the way we're going to do that is we can actually broadcast a message saying 
restart yellow ball. And in here we can just say when I receive restart yellow ball, we can just have these same things happen right here. All right, so we can say uh, when I receive restart yellow ball, duplicate right there. And we can test play this thing out. So we got it. We're right to here. Now our yellow ball shows up again, and our fails have also updated as well. All right. So it looks like everything's good. So we'll go back to the beginning of the game. All right. Our level two switch. Now we can actually get that out of there because we don't need it. Uh, our fails we want to show up, of course. And we'll go here to new game, and we'll just see if the whole game flow works the way that we want it to. here and everything looks like it's the way it has to go now nothing happens at the end of this um, whatever you want to have happen now whether we want to add more levels or we want it to go back to the home screen um, we can we can make this go any way we want it to uh, so the trigger for this whole level ending is end level two uh, we could easily put in here uh, broadcast start home screen and that would just be the end of the game or if you want to have a congratulations screen show up there for a little while uh, you could do that as well right so there's a lot more possibilities which we'll talk about uh, going forward from here but that takes us up to the end of building level number two